The problem is inconsistent ice, and that's keeping recovery crews quite busy. When it comes to lake ice, January is supposed to be a safer time of year to bring vehicles out. Bird is towing this jade. Crews at this Rogers tow shop say so far this year, yep. not a chance. This is nothing we've seen before. And right now we're from central Minnesota, you know, north of Baxter that we're recovering these vehicles out of the water. James Trantina has the photos to back it up. More than 30 ice recoveries already surpassing their yearly average. It's a real hazard this year. The DNR says it's been well above average for them as well. Recently responding to a string of sunken vehicles, ice houses, even tractors. So why has it been so bad this season? We've been having a lot of maybe 25, 28, 30 degree weather at night, and it's just not able to make ice at the rate it normally does. Chad Tessing with the DNR says that makes inconsistent ice. So we kind of stayed stagnant at that four to six inch uh, walkable ice, but not quite good enough for ATV traffic and vehicle traffic. Well, people then started driving ATVs and vehicles thinking it would be safe because it's been long enough. He says do your research before going out with any vehicle. Talk to guides, talk to bait shops in the area, talk to resorts. Or you may find yourself calling James. They're tools that we use when we go out on the ice. And dropping thousands of dollars for recovery with poor ice conditions in many spots. We want people to be safe and, and just to make sure that they're they're going to make it back home. In Rogers, Alex Hagan, CARE 11 News. So what are the guidelines for heading out on the ice? Well, here's what the DNR says. If you want to walk on the ice, it needs to be at least four inches thick. To drive a car on the ice, it should be between eight and 12 inches. And for a truck, 12 to 15 inches. Anything under four inches, the DNR suggests stay off the ice.